Hey. Okay, so I have this uh, AMD Athlon 64-bit, and I found this in the dumpster uh, yesterday as I was jogging. And I thought, you know, it's been a while since I've actually, you know, used my heat gun. And what better way to do it than to figure out what's underneath this um, this heat sink. This is a heat sink that goes, uh, that's, you know, pasted basically or glued on top of a processor underneath of this. And uh, I did this a while back with the Pentium 4, but I haven't been able to um, had an opportunity actually to use my heat gun in a while, and I've never done it with an AMD. So uh, here we go. Let's see if we can take this off. I'm going to use my heat gun, heat it up, see if I can pry it off without too much damage, and then, you know, like I said, uh, see if there's any circuitry under there other than maybe just a small chip. Maybe there'll be some capacitors, some SMD uh, resistors, and so forth. And uh, so let's see what we can make of it. Okay, so I have my heat gun here. This here produces upwards of 500 C degrees temperature. And uh, here's the station here. If you want to, you want to just take a quick look at that. That's what I have right here. That's what I'll be using. So let's turn this baby on. Let's have heat. You know, let's turn the fan maybe to five. Let's watch that temperature grow. There we are. To heat up, and let's see if we can uh, lo loosen this up quite a bit. Now, these processors are designed to get hot. Um, AMD, especially, is known to get um, considerably warm, especially when you compare it to its counterpart. So, you know, 300 degrees, I expect not much to happen. And, you know, I also wonder if maybe even 500 degrees, the hottest this temperature can get is going to really do anything um, because they can sustain that heat for quite some time before they freeze up uh, 350 degrees now nah, I don't expect much to happen but let's take a look here this is the kind of elastic glue they use and I can see that I'm able to push it a little bit but I don't see that it's by any means melting off here let's take a look at this yeah you get that still on there so I'm gonna go ahead and just crank it up to the 500 degrees There we go. So we'll give this a couple of moments here to heat up and we'll see if we really notice anything uh, anything there. That's coming up a lot easier now. Look at that. Look at that piece. Perfect. Okay, let's see if we can pry this off a little bit easier now. I think I may need something maybe a little thinner at first. Let's see here. Ah, much easier. Let's see if I can get underneath of this here. I'm just getting underneath of it right there, just trying to release and, you know, cut through some of this rubber or some of this, you know, kind of rubberized glue here that's, you know, and unfortunately this is designed to take quite a bit of heat. And as an AMD, it's definitely designed to take even maybe more than quite a bit of heat. Ah, yes. Look at that. I've been able to get my screwdriver under there now, really starting to loosen this up. I'm going to turn this fan up a little bit here. Let's see if we can slowly move this up without creating too much damage. Oof. I definitely smell some uh, some burning here, so we're definitely getting someplace. Let's see here. Now I think uh, there it is. Let's see if we can go around this edge here. Pry this off. 
the glue is definitely starting to really to really smell here and as you can see see if I can get a, a close shot here There we go. Oh, there it is. Looks like we're definitely getting someplace here. And yeah, there it is. There's some SMD. Looks like some. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Let's see if we can take that off there. And there we have it. Okay, and here we go. We have the heat sink off here. We can see pretty, pretty clearly, you know, the writing on it, made in Malaysia and uh, diffused in Germany. <laughs> and turn it around here. But the glue that they used, you know, is able to handle the thermal properties okay here. You know, most of it actually remained on the processor behind here. Uh, but in this case over here, it looks like that the PCB broke down from the heat long before, um, long before the glue did. So, you know, whether that was due to just extreme high temperature, whether they just used an excellent glue and uh, the thermal properties of it um, didn't give way before the PCB did, uh, that remains to be seen. So almost the trick here is almost going to be, as we do this, to heat up the board rather than the processor. And look at that, naturally it'll just kind of pop right off. So we'll just heat up this board here, really allow this to uh, warm, there it is. I don't want to pull this off or pry it off if I, you know, because I want to see if I can get some components to come with that. And I don't want to crack it. You know, it's the chip die, it's where the silicon rests. And I don't want to uh, ruin it if I can avoid it. So, you know, the trick here is going to be just to heat it up and see if we can naturally let this thing uh, automatically. We can really start seeing some curvature on this board now. And if you haven't noticed, the board's definitely blackening. So yeah, look at that. It's hot enough that these are just, the solder is coming right off of them. Look at that. It's just coming right off. So that just shows you how hot these are, that these components are, uh, are flying right off without any problem. Look at that. This, look at that. Prize this off some of it. See if we can gently. There it is.